right now, a 5 0 defeat here to Lauren this afternoon. Do you want to give me your thoughts on the game? Uh, it's, a, it's a tough station, there's no doubt about that. Um, I think that for 35 minutes of the first half, we were over the moon, especially when you know, we're playing midfielders and that back and stuff like that, some square pegs in round holes. But for 35 minutes, it was super. Shape was really good, looked nice and compact, and had a few chances ourselves. But I think that, that you can see whenever that goal goes in, and then it it's, it's, it's really is the pin in the, pin in the balloon moment. Um, and we've got to change that, we've got to change that mentality. You know, the goals, the goals that we conceded today are really poor. They're really, all, they're all avoidable. You know, some individual errors and not not picking men up and stuff like that. And, and as I said, we're only in a couple of weeks, but you know, we can see where the problems have been. And you know, um, we've got to we've got to certainly stop making individual errors. You know, we're we're well in the game there after 35 minutes. They're not causing us any problems really. Jasper has very little to do in in that period of time. And then a corner kick, a missed kick, corner kick goes in through the front front post area. And we don't track a man in the box. It's only a one 0 down, and as I say, that changes everything, you know. But we've got to react better to that, and that's what we're saying to the boys. We're telling the boys regularly, you know, we've got to show some character and come back from these situations. You know, when you concede a goal, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's a lot of football teams, and anybody in those May teams, May teams go for ninety minutes, go for ninety five minutes, and it's never over. And that's what we're trying to instill in the players uh, at the minute, you know. Uh, but as I say, they're on the, they've been on the floor for quite a while now. And um, what we're trying to do is instill, um, instill that wee bit of belief that, that when we can see the goal, it's not over and it shouldn't be over. So we'll, we'll keep knocking, knocking at doors and, and keep trying our very, very best to, to get the players to buy in. You know, you're correct. You know, from, a, from our vantage point here, Port Out are, are well in the game after half an hour. So arguably the best chance of the game to Jordan Jenkins early in, in the first right. half. And it's like you say just that, that one goal goes in and an individual mistake followed by another individual mistake and suddenly the heads go down right. and you say about changing that mentality it's a, it's a big game then coming up this Saturday we're, we're back at, at Taylor's Avenue looking to a bit of revenge after last Tuesday night's uh, defeat how, how do you how do you change that mentality now? Well, there was there was positives today, Johnny. You know, if we're going, you know, Reese Reese Jordan's performance today was outstanding for a seventeen-year-old young young man. It was over the moon with him. Luke Wilson coming in after not playing and, and really helping us out today. Um, was I thought Luke was brilliant. I know we we slip up for for the goal that went through, but again we didn't really help him out after that. But uh, I thought he was outstanding, and I thought um, Reese Jordan and you know Big Barney coming in playing centre half was outstanding as well. So. Listen, we we are just in a situation where we, you know, football is a lot to do upstairs as well, Johnny, and, and getting upstairs right, and, and as I say, we've got to change mentalities in the in, in regards to. We know exactly what's coming from from Garrett Rangers, you know, um, we know how Stuart plays, so it's uh, first ball, second ball, diagonal balls, long throws, and balls into the box. So the one thing that they've done against us the previous Tuesday night was bully us, and we were second best physically against them. So we know what we're going to get when we go to Kirk, you know, it's, it's, it'll be no, certainly no secret, but uh, we've got to make sure we, we're, we, we're going up there with a the mentality and ready to go to war, because that's, uh, that's the type of game that they, they want to have, and, you know, it's the, type of, it's the type of game that I don't mind having as a manager, I've always done that no problem, um, so we've got to get it into the players' heads that, uh, you know, this is, this is uh, opportunity knocks again, and if we're right, there's phases where we're doing really well, Johnny. Um, but I'm not going to come out and hammer the players today. You know, we, we just got to get that situation where we'll stop making individual errors, and the individual errors are killing us at the moment. But um, some of the goals we can see that they're really, really poor and really, really avoidable. So we need to get a wee bit of aggression in, in both boxes and, and get our heads and things and get our get our clearances proper. But uh, we know what we'll get at Carrick. And as I say, we uh, there was positives today, and um, we got 35 decent minutes today. Um, but we'll keep building, we'll keep building, keep trying to make them believe. Um, there's no point in coming out and hammering them week in, week out. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a process. And as I say, we've we got we to gotta get into the stage where we get into their heads that, you know, whenever we can see the goal, it's not the end of the world. And we bounce back and we show character and we show resolve. And that a game isn't over when we can see the goal. And that's exactly what we'll try and do over the next few weeks. No problem, cheers now. Thanks, Thanks Johnny.